Hi, my name is uh, Daniel Chatelon, and uh, for my midterm presentation, I'm obviously doing it on Trellis, the company I've been interning for. And uh, just to start off, um, if you can't see me well, or if you can't uh, see the slides very well, I apologize for that. I'm sort of making a makeshift classroom in my room right now. Um, so yeah, I apologize about that, but let's begin. Um, so basically, Trellis is a home development company, and they basically have three branches. Um, they, they define it as their learning, lending, and building. So for learning, they basically take in uh, home, home buyers or homeowners and teach them um, sort of how to be a sustainable homeowner, not in the fact of like environmental, but more financial, like not to get behind on payments and how down payments work and how financing works and mortgaging and everything like that, um, refinancing. So that's one aspect. And then they do financial services. So lending, they take in uh, money from the government uh, that um, gives Trellis a certain amount of money and then also just uh, any donations um, to put towards down payments as some of the home buyers that come in they don't have twenty thousand dollars to put as a down payment but they make the right amount of money to afford the payments that would come with a mortgage after the down payment is, um, is put in place and they also do financing and look at finances and everything like that and then they also have the construction side or building homes and so they build residential just uh, normal residential homes and um, townhomes and condominiums and all the sorts of like that again with the focus of affordability um, for their customers and right here if you can see is just an elevation view of one of the homes that they uh, constructed again they're basically pretty normal homes nothing spectacular they're not sustainable in the sense of solar panels or um, passive solar heating or cooling or anything like that it's more sustainable in that these people can afford their homes and not um, get uh, slammed by payments or anything like that. So basically the work that I've been doing so far is uh, more on a renovation or what's called a rehabilitation. Um, uh, Trellis is working with or um, for basically um, Southwest Behavioral, um, which is a, uh, uh, an institution that basically helps find homes for those with um, Dehabilitating, dehabilitating medical condi medical conditions or uh, behavioral issues, and so they uh, have been working on four homes, and they basically create these books, which aren't necessarily books, but more just a compilation of um, files that are needed because um, these are funded through the government, and so um, the government obviously wants to know where their money is being spent and all the document documentation for that. So I've basically been uh, just compiling, finding these files, compiling them, which has been a little bit of pain because the filing system wasn't isn't that very good. And apparently, from what my supervisor has told me, it was even worse beforehand, so I guess I should be lucky with what I have. Um, but other than that, I've been researching competition, just um, other home home developers, seeing um, what they have um, created and how much it is in certain areas so that trail is competitive but also can um, still fulfill their uh, affordable aspect. Um, I've also been looking for new clients or just the opportunity for more work basically for Trellis. Again, on the rehabilitation side, um, uh, Southwest Behavioral has more than the four homes. They have um, about 50 or so, I'd say, and some are normal residential and then some are multifamily. And then there's another, uh, Save the Family is um, uh, an organization that helps um, uh, families who don't have a home or uh, because of domestic abuse and things like that find a home. And they actually have about 200 homes um, between commercial, residential, and multifamily. Um, so basically they just want to know what's out there so that they can reach out to them and potentially get more work. And then I've also been gathering all the historical data that is in the filing system and making it a little bit more easy to read and clean and also um, just adding more data to it. Um, they have a list of homes all the way from the 80s um, and so they want to know the people that bought those homes whenever they were finished are they still in the home? Because that basically will show um, board members and people on uh, city officials that what Trellis is doing works. That they don't. That people don't buy these homes just to sell them for a profit later on. That people buy these homes because they're affordable and they stay in them for 20, 30 years, even if it's only five years. It shows that you know what what they're doing is actually uh, beneficial. Um, so what I hope uh, for the rest of the semester, what I, I can achieve is. Um, getting more involvement in the actual development process. Really, right now, I've been doing all the rehabilitation stuff, which is interesting, but I, I'm kind of interested in new construction. Um, I have more of a construction-oriented um, mind than anything else, so I want to know the process of new construction from start to finish. 
Um, maybe not start to finish because that takes more than half a semester. It takes years. But um, sort of just like how we go from finding, uh, <coughs> finding land to um, getting plans and then constructing and breaking ground and building up and then selling. Um, also, within that, uh, the financial aspect I'm interested in. Um, Trellis is basically the middleman, so there's a client and then Trellis and then the general contractor which builds the homes. Um, but still, they Trellis gets the money from the owner and then gives it to the general contractor. Or maybe not the owner, it might be the government or donation and things like that since it's affordable housing. Um, I'm just interested in like how they break down the financial aspect of it. I'm taking an estimating class right now, so this is something that's like kind of current with me. Um, so I'm hoping that I can get a little bit more in depth with that, which I think I will. Um, there was some mistakes in some of the uh, recent um, invoices and pay apps. Um, so my supervisor asked me to go through those, which I'm happy for. And then uh, attending uh, meetings in um, both city and neighborhood, just to get the idea of what it is for the, for Trellis, the people of Trellis to ask for money um, for the affordable housing and then going into these neighborhoods and like talking to the people to see what they want because if they build up a 20 unit um, townhome alongside all just residential housing they might not be happy about it so sort of getting more hands on with the people uh, is what I'm interested in as well. Um, I've learned a lot um, actually a lot more than I could say in uh, just a couple minutes but uh, the main things are um, the beh behind the scenes work uh, everyone no one I feel like no one really knows what goes behind a construction. They just see it on the road and they get all mad because it's making them late for work or school. Um, but there's a lot more to it um, paperwork wise, which is interesting to find out, but it's not something I'm super excited about. It's a little bit mundane, but it's part of the process. And then um, zoning issues that have been coming up a lot and um, not with what I'm doing, but with what my supervisor's doing. And he's every so often kind of fills me in with what he's doing. And I find that um, kind of interesting to see what, um, what is considered uh, zoning for a certain amount of units per acre and things like that. And then just an office environment in, in general. Um, I've only been a delivery driver for the five years I've been working. So kind of being in an office and sitting down all day and working with those around me um, has been interesting and I, I like it actually. Um, so that kind of goes into what I like. Um, experiencing the office environment is interesting and new to me. Um, a closer look at the construction process. Uh, I'm taking construction management minor, so I'm getting a little bit of that, but seeing actually the process firsthand is interesting. I just hope to get a little bit more. And then um, the team in general is pretty nice. The building team, the construction team, is pretty small. It's basically three people, um, but I kind of like that because it lets you get a little bit more hands-on with them, and, and they're all higher up, so it's not like you're working with someone who's doing what you're doing. You're working with the project manager or the real estate development manager and things like that. Um, some things are that I don't like or challenges is um, sometimes it's just busy work. I kind of do nothing interesting. I stuff envelopes and lick envelopes and things like that, which is a part of the process and they need me to do it and I'm happy to do it for them. But again, it's a little boring. Um, and also, I don't exactly do a lot of hands-on work with what I want to do, as I've kind of stated earlier. Um, I've been basically just a file organization person to put the books together. Um, I'd like to do a little bit more on the actual development side and I think they kind of get that, my supervisor, and he's going to try more uh, this next half of the semester to get me into that. So for a conclusion, um, overall it's been a good experience. I wouldn't say it's exactly what I was hoping for, but at the same time it's a good first step. Um, I'd rather be doing this than some other sustainability oriented uh, internships, which I'm not, you know, downing or anything, but um, this is, uh, construction is what I'm more interested in, so this is a good first step. It's just not exactly what I want. Um, I'd rather, I, I was hoping to be a part of a construction team that was focused in sustainable building as in the design of the building and things like that, but I think um, what I've learned so far is definitely crucial um, for moving forward, and um, I just hope to learn even more from that.